Gattu Chinki's Christmas crib. When Christmas comes, it brings lots of joy, God's blessings, and exciting gifts from Santa with it. Decorating our house with Christmas trees and lights, eating yummy cakes and cookies, and praying to God along with the whole family and celebrating Christmas adds beauty to the charm of our home. Gattu and Chinki were very excited because it was two days to Christmas. Hey Gattu, have you thought about what gift you are going to ask from Santa? I think I will ask for a guitar from him. I have seen Raju's guitar and I loved it, but I don't have a guitar and because of that I am unable to practice. In the evening, Gattu and his friends were playing in the society garden. After a few moments, Raju came into the garden. He sat on an empty bench and started playing his guitar. Hearing the sound of the guitar, Gattu and his friends stopped playing and they went where Raju was sitting. Raju was playing very beautifully. So much so that an old uncle passing nearby also stopped near his bench and started listening to his guitar. Oh wow Raju, you can play the guitar quite well. But I cannot play the notes next to this one. Raju was not able to play that song further because he could not play the next notes properly. He tried it two, three times more, but he still couldn't do it. One person standing there asked him, Hey, can I give it a try? Do you know how to play the guitar? Okay, try it. Uncle strummed the guitar one, two times and then he started playing all the notes very smoothly. Everyone was surprised. Wow, uncle, that was very awesome. But this is the first time we are seeing you in this area. You are right, dear. I shifted in this society last week. My name is Francis de Costa. If you don't mind, can I come to your home to learn guitar? Of course you can come, dear. I would really like it. I am staying in flat number 404. Gattu was very excited when the uncle agreed. At night, when they were having dinner, Gattu told his mummy and papa about the new neighbour. When mummy heard that the name of the new neighbour is Francis de Costa, she asked, Is he the one who moved to flat number 404? Yes, mom. But how do you know? Because I met his wife Julie in the shop today. He also has a son who is a software engineer and is settled in Canada. Wow! In Canada? Yes, but I felt Julie was a little sad because his son won't be able to come to India this Christmas. Next day, Gattu and Chinki decided to pay a visit to the new neighbouring uncle and auntie. Gattu was already making plans to learn more than a few things about guitar from Francis' uncle. They reached Francis and Julie de Costa's home and rang the bell. It was Francis' uncle who opened the door. Oh, Gattu! Hello, uncle. Hello, uncle. Welcome, dear. Please come in. Francis and Julie were very happy to see Gattu and Chinky. Julie auntie brought orange juice and cookies for them, while Francis uncle was teaching Gattu how to hold the guitar and some basic strumming techniques. Chinky started chatting with Julie auntie and she talked about a lot of things, from her friends to her school. Francis uncle and Julie auntie felt very happy talking to these kids. When they were talking, Chinky saw a photo frame. It had a photo of Uncle Francis, Julie auntie and their son celebrating Christmas. This is a very beautiful photo auntie. This is our son Robin and this photo is from 4 years ago. Robin used to live with us at that time and we all used to enjoy celebrating Christmas very much. Gattu and Francis also joined Julie and Chinky. Yes, this photo looks very nice. And look, Francis' uncle is wearing Santa Claus costume. Yes, dear. Celebrating Christmas felt amazing at that time. The Christmas crib you're seeing in this photo, Robin made it himself. Robin never spent a Christmas away from us. But he is settled in Canada now. And he won't be able to come this year. Uncle Francis and Auntie Julie became sad as they were missing their son, Robin. Gattu and Chinky also felt bad seeing them like this. So Gattu said, Please don't be sad, Uncle Auntie. This year, we will celebrate Christmas together. Yes, I will also bring my friends with me. And then, we will celebrate Christmas together. Later, Gattu and Chinky returned to their homes because they had yet to finish their homework. At night, when Gattu was studying, 
he was also planning something. Jinky, listen, I have an idea. Okay, tell me, Gattu. How about we make a nice Christmas crib and give it to Francis uncle and Julia auntie? This is an awesome idea, Gattu. Next day, Gattu went to the market and bought all the necessary items: cardboard, modeling clay, colored papers, plastic leaves, straws, and many other art materials. Jinky had already downloaded many designs of the Christmas crib model from the internet. Even Mummy was surprised when she saw them working together in a drawing room. Guys, what are you doing with all these things? We are making Christmas crib to surprise Francis uncle and Julie auntie. Yesterday when we were talking about Christmas, they got sad. So we thought that we would do something to make their Christmas special. It's really a nice idea, Gattu Chinki. Chinki made beautiful figures of infant Jesus, Mother Mary and Joseph with the help of modeling clay. Gattu made lots of shepherds and he also made small huts using cardboard. Then they made some trees using straws and green paper cutouts. Gattu made mountains and landscape using big stones and sand. Now the Christmas crib was looking beautiful. In the evening when Papa came home, he saw the crib. He was very happy and proud seeing it. But more than the beautiful artwork that Gattu and Chinki made, he was happy about the fact that kids showed care and concern for their new neighbors. On the Christmas Eve, Gattu and Chinki took the Christmas crib to Francis uncle's home. This time Julie auntie opened the door and the moment she saw the kids, she gave them a warm smile. Come in Gattu Chinki and what is this? Merry Christmas auntie. Merry Christmas auntie. This is Christmas crib. We made it for you. Julie auntie was extremely happy to see the Christmas crib. She kept the Christmas crib near the Christmas tree which she had decorated beautifully. Due to the lights decorating the Christmas tree, the Christmas crib was now looking amazing. Just then Santa Claus came in ringing the bell and saying, "Ho ho ho!" Gattu and Chinki were surprised to see him. Santa Claus then took out a nice guitar from his oversized bag and gave it to Gattu. Santa, how did you know I wanted a guitar? But Chinki was observing Santa carefully and she said, "Gattu, this is Francis uncle in Santa Claus's dress." It was indeed Francis uncle wearing red dress of Santa Claus and white beard. He also gave a gift to Chinki and she was ecstatic. Just then they heard a doorbell and Julie auntie opened the door. Gattu and Chinki's mummy and papa were also there for Christmas celebration. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Please come in. Come. The whole house was now buzzing with excitement and chatter. They went to the photo of Mother Mary and Jesus Christ. The holy cross was also kept there. Everyone lit candles in front of it and then they prayed together. After that, Francis uncle stood near the Christmas tree and started playing the guitar and he also sang Christmas carols. Julie auntie gave everyone the special cake that she cooked for Christmas. All of them just relished the taste of the cake. That to a chinky truly made our Christmas special this year. We both were feeling lonely and sad because Robin was not coming this year. Hearing this, mummy and papa felt proud of their kids. So let's say it one more time. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them and subscribe.